Hi Capricorn, welcome back. We are doing a one car read for the solar, full solar eclipse in the sign of Aries for you Capricorn. Well, how is the full solar eclipse going to affect Capricorn? Okay, sign of Capricorn after April the 8th, 2024. We have the four wands coming out. You could be dealing with a fire sign after April the 8th, 2024. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, wow. So Capricorn, you looks like you're going to get love in at the bottom of the deck. Yes, you are. So Capricorn, if you're single, you get definitely going to have love coming in the rest of this year here. Okay, this person, that's what I'm saying. It's open, it's open read, okay? So it's general, it's open. You're going to have a lot of options after April the 8th. This solar eclipse, full solar eclipse after April the 8th is going to bring you a lot of opportunity. You're going to have a lot of choices in love or in choices in dating people. Here is what I'm seeing at the bottom of the deck. First card at the bottom of the deck is Seven of Cups, followed by the Knight of Cups. Okay, a lot of water. And then we got Taurus energy. Okay, Hierophant. This, these options that you have, I do see a fire sign here that could definitely want to marry you, Capricorn. Take it as a apply. This may or may not resonate. So we have a Taurus and then we have fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I see someone wanting to marry you guys. Okay, I'm not saying it's going to happen this year, but you are going to meet someone that is going to... Um, you're going to hit it off with them. You're going to start dating, okay? Um, that's how it's going to start. I do see you have a lot of options, Capricorn, after this solar eclipse. This solar eclipse is going to really heighten and bring in your, up bring your area of love in your life, okay? You're going to meet someone that is very stable, very romantic, very caring. This person likes to date. They like to... Um, you know, whole hands, they like to cuddle, they are romantic at heart, okay, um, they like to have fancy dinners, they just like to spoil you, okay, I'm seeing roses, I'm seeing candlelight dinner, I'm seeing, you know, you're able to just order whatever you want on the menu, I'm just seeing, like, um, he's a romancer anyway, okay, he's the knight of cups, and he's all about romancing you, okay? He wears hard on his sleeve. He's not hiding nothing. Um, this guy will let it, let you know definitely he wants to date you. You are going to have a lot of options here. I do see here with the Seven of Cups being exactly at the bottom of the deck here. So that's what I'm saying. You do have someone behind you, though. It's a water energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio coming in wanting to date you. So this person, this water sign, might ask you, ask, ugh, I can't talk, might ask you out on a date. He could be nervous. He could be shy to date do this i feel like he has to get up the nerve it's going to lead to a marriage so you guys are like i said are going to start dating first with this knight of cups energy going out on dates and then it's going to definitely lead to a full solid commitment here that's why i said this person could be water or they could be taurus or any other fire energy i do feel the strongest energies here is taurus here with the seven of cups it could be scorpio or taurus and then we got they could have a mixture of water and fire here and a little earth, not much, okay? But um, your person is going to lead to a full commitment here. And see, they are going to take action on you. They are going to marry you, okay? The king of wands is behind the um, hierophant. Okay, they, they're viewing you as marriage material. They're viewing you as wifey. Okay, so whoever you're picking out of the seven of cups, okay? Yeah, you guys are going to have a solid foundation. It, uh, it also could be your twin flame and stuff or soulmate. Take it as applies, however you your beliefs are, okay? When you come to this read, if you believe in twin flames or soulmates, it, it doesn't really matter, guys. It's kind of like, to me, it feels like the same. The battle is different, though, with the twin flames, though, okay? It's a lot rougher. But soulmates, you definitely could have a soul contract with this person. I really do feel that. I can say with the four wands, you definitely could be attracting or picking a twin flame here out of these options. For others of you guys, it could be a soulmate. Still a, a soul contract in this lifetime you guys are having here. I'm seeing you guys are going to have a solid foundation. I do see you guys getting married. They have been pointing out to me for the longest right now in your read. A year, a year, a year. So... Ha, huh, from the time you guys are uh, viewing this video, Capricorn, you guys could definitely be engaged by the next uh, year of two, 2025, okay? They're pointing out a year time, okay, to me. Um, so that's what I'm saying. Um, you're going to start off dating, having a lot of beautiful dates, spending a lot of time together, 
um, bonding, getting to know each other, and it's going to go right into a marriage. This person definitely will propose to you, definitely will um, give you an engagement, will set a date with the higher friend here. This person is not playing, and you see that they got a lot of fire in their birth chart. They definitely could have fire in their birth chart here. Um, they're not playing. They're very solid. They want to commit. So whoever you're picking, um, you're meant to pick them or either you're going to boil it down or you ask you date these other guys because I see you got options. Maybe you're dating different guys. You're going to wind it down. That's what I'm seeing in a year, within a year, because pretty much the guy, the guys that you're dating, one is going to give you a commitment. OK, if you're dating several guys at the same time. One's going to give you a commitment, and that's the one you're going to end up going with, okay? And yes, he is the one for you. He is stable. That's how you're going to know who the one is for you. He's going to actually lock it down with you. He's going to know he's he's the one for you at when you're dating, okay? So that's when you're going to get your ring while you're dating. So I don't know if he's going to take you out on a date. They're saying he, when you're dating, that's when he's going to actually propose to you, okay? So um, that's what I saw um is you know it's going to be after dinner or something it could be around family and friends and he's going to pop that question to you pretty fast um so i'm talking about dating maybe six months seven months it's going to be under a year and then like by a year you will have a ring on your finger that's what i'm talking about capricorn okay and you deserve it because um, it looks like you're going to be going through a lot of guys. Not everybody in this, these cups or 